Hello everybody and thank you for watching. This is Cincy Living and Jason bringing you today's episode. By the way everybody, please shoot us some emails. I've gotten I think one email in the last couple of weeks. Send us some strategies, some questions, anything you would like to know or like us to evaluate. More than happy to shoot those videos for you guys. So this is the final one in our, our Come and DC little trilogy as we now shoot our videos in threes. Um, after this, we'll go ahead and stitch it all together and have one complete video of all three, all three videos combined um, for you guys. And then, of course, we'll have the live rolls for our patrons uh, exclusive, as part of our exclusive videos for them. Curious about that, just check the description of the video down below. So we've already talked about the combats. We've talked about the don't comes when it comes to two and three point molly systems. Now, what about never ending? Never ending combats and never ending don't. Comes. I'm going to talk about the don'ts first, um, and what I have to say about the don'ts, and I kind of touched upon this on the don't video. Let's say you're doing a three-point molly system. Let's say one player is doing a three-point molly system. This is a good stopping point right here. It's a good stopping point for a couple of reasons. Reason number one is what if you catch a hot shooter? If you catch a hot shooter, down behind, down behind, down behind, down behind, will absolutely annihilate you. I know some people whose entire strategy with the don'ts is basically only to play don'ts per, per shooter. Not per shot, not per point, per shooter. They'll play two don'ts and then they wait for the next shooter. They will not, will not place another bet until it goes to another shooter or three or something along those lines. Because you catch, if you stumble into that 20, 30, 40 minute roll, you're gonna get crushed. You're gonna get absolutely crushed. It's better to have a set amount that you risk per shooter. Because remember, a lot of strategies will say that. What's your bank or what's your buy-in with this strategy to see, say, 10 shooters, right? Well, with the don'ts, you can't really say how much you're investing per shooter. You don't have a, I'm always doing 160 across, or I'm always doing this, or I'm always doing that, unless, you have, unless you're doing a two or three point molly system where you're being very, very strict and very disciplined with how you bet. The other reason that I'm not a huge fan, and I have played the don'ts before, not a huge fan of doing the never ending don't come is if it's to this, to this shooter or to this player, a seven is the winning number. You've got a one in six chance of that happening. So a seven is the winning number. Six out of the 36 combinations of the dice. Now, if you don't have a winning number of the remaining combinations of the dice, once you are behind three numbers, of the remaining combinations of the dice, you actually have better chances of losing your money than setting another point to win off of if that makes sense. You have more chances of having a down behind than you do of having a new number to land on. Especially as you keep on going. If you've got four behinds, now the only thing that's, that's a non-winning roll for you, because a seven again is a winning roll, now the only numbers that, are, that, that uh, benefit you at this point is a four and a five. You have seven combinations of the dice that will give you that. However, over here you have 17 combinations of the dice that are going to cause you to lose money. This is why I'm not a fan of the continuous don't comes. At a certain point, your risk versus reward changes. That ratio changes quite a bit. And, uh, and to me, it's just not worth it. Again, that's just my opinion, just, just from a numerical standpoint. Play it how you wish. This is definitely a good bet. The thing, only thing we say about the don'ts is once you've won a decent amount, set your stopping point because at a certain point, if you're a don't player, the dice are going to come back around and bite you just like any other bet. I see people all the time that are up two or three times their initial buy-in and don't walk away and they give it all back on both sides, dark side, light side, doesn't matter. Now, what about come bets in a continuous molly system? Now here is where I like it. Dealers also really like continuous come bets as long as you don't change your flat bet. As long as you keep your flat bet the same, the dealers like it too. Come bets are one of the more labor intensive bets because we have to cut out the payout into the come, stack it up, grab the other, grab the bet, slide it out throw it on out there versus with a place bet that we just 
drop it out and go. It's just, it's probably twice as fast to do a place bet. Plus, it's a far more common bet, so it's just quicker to do. So place bets are, are quick, easy, and of course, you've got your pressing and stuff like that. But I'm not going to go into the reasons why, why dealers prefer the place bets. But if you're doing a continuous nonstop come bet, at a certain point when you catch a hot roll, you're just off and on. As long as your flat bet has never changed, you're just off and on. So we're just constantly paying you out paying you out, paying you out. We don't have to manipulate your bets anymore. We just cut it out just like we would with a place bet. Makes it quick, it makes it easy, it makes it functional. And it's also why I think if you're gonna play the come bets, keep it going. Keep it going, because you wanna take advantage of that hot shooter. I see, I see two point molly players that will catch that 40 minute roll, and they make money, they make good money, because they'll, they'll do a decent, decent odds, but man, three quarters of the rolls, they don't make a penny because they're only on two numbers. Well, everyone else is just raking in the money. That's also one of the reasons why come betters in general don't make as much as place betters. Um, so, you know, playing them all. Now, the problem with the come bets is that you have to, to really take advantage of the come bets, you have to be, you have to have a pretty good sized bankroll. Because just coming onto the point and then doing no odds is, frankly, stupid. And uh, um, just doing very minimal odds, you've, with what you have at risk, you make less than a place better. So, there you have it, the continuous don't comes and continuous come bets and the advantages and disadvantages of both. So the next video, we will live roll this for our patrons. Everybody else, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you find it interesting, illuminating, enlightening, or at least just plain fun, we will catch you guys next time. Bye now. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. And as promised, a little bit more detail on things that we are working on. So again, we want to, uh, we want to continue trying to expand the channel. We're really hoping to be, add, to be able to add roulette as soon as possible. And then some video kino, video slots, stuff along those lines. Um, unfortunately, it ate up almost all of our cash, um, paying off all of our bills during the month of January, January while we were down. And uh, now that the holidays have ended, um, YouTube's uh, payouts have dropped significantly. So uh, we're kind of treading water here uh, uh, as far as all that goes. Do have a lot of things we want to add, though. Not just those, those things, those, those additional games, and hopefully some carnival games and such, such like that, but the live streams. The biggest problem right now with the live streams is with three jobs combined between the two of us, four if I include the, the 20 to 30 hours a week I'm putting into the YouTube channel. Um, it's very, very difficult for me to have a day and time that I can commit to doing the live stream every single week because we also have our, our very young child to, to take care of. But I'm trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably gonna end up being on, on Monday nights or Tuesday afternoons, or possibly both. I intend to do at least one live stream exclusively for our patrons, and then another one on the YouTube channel. So possibly both both days. Um, we also have a few other things that, that we really want to attempt to move forward on. I'm just running into to either time or skill set issues. I do want to eventually have a, a website going for us. Um, I did used to program websites a long, over a decade ago. A lot of things have changed, and I just don't have that time. Um, and uh, not a whole lot of knowledge on the current state of, of um, building websites, hosting site, you know, what, what sites can host and, and uh, uh, how to build up, you know, the e-commerce stuff. So if anybody has any skill sets along those lines and would like to answer some questions uh, or just help us out, shoot us an email, sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. Um, also, I really hope to be able to start adding some, some uh, fairly ex some exclusive stuff from Sin City Living, uh, logoed shirts, hats. I'm looking to get uh, custom dice made, even custom, custom layouts made, although those would be pretty expensive. Um, but I know zero about e-commerce and drop shipping and uh, anything along those lines. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, please email me. Uh, I, would, I would love to ask you some questions and uh, see, if, uh, see if you can answer, answer a few to help me figure out how to get that going. Um, same thing with uh, with designing our logos. You know, I, I I had the logo had some logos designed, very very small logos, unfortunately, not big enough to blow up to put on T-shirts and stuff like that. And again, I know next to nothing. Not next to I know nothing about 
um, logo design, graphic design, any kind of websites that could that could do it. Um, I, I literally know nothing. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area also, please email me and you're willing to ask, answer some questions. Please email me and, uh, and let me know. I, uh, uh, I'll admit I don't even know where to start as far as asking some questions, but I'm sure I'll, I'll ask a few and that'll trigger a few more, so on and so forth. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And, and uh, of course, we do hope to continue to improve our AV setup, but I am an AV moron. So also right there, if you have any skill sets or knowledge in that area, please email me and, and are willing to answer some questions. Please email me and, uh, and let me know. We would love the help. Uh, otherwise, again, thank you everybody for watching. And we're very excited to continue bringing you our videos. Bye now.